Thomas and Friends Story Time. Not so slow coaches, starring Thomas the Tank Engine and his faithful coaches Annie and Clarabel. Based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey, created by Britt Allcroft, read by Mark Marahan and Friends. This is the story about Thomas's coaches Annie and Clarabel. Annie and Clarabel are wooden passenger coaches, but Clarabel also has a brake compartment for luggage and a guard. Thomas loves his coaches very much and would never want to be without them. So now you've met the heroes of our story, let's begin our journey. All aboard for a big adventure. Not so slow coaches. There's nothing Thomas likes more than pulling Annie and Clarabelle along his branch line. But even though his coaches are very faithful, they do sometimes complain, especially when Thomas goes a bit too fast. He's doing it again, Clarabelle. I agree, Annie. He's going dreadfully fast. Thomas laughed at Annie and Clarabelle for complaining. <laughs> I can hear you two. Thomas, slow down! My couplings are clattering! So Thomas began to slow down, until he was hardly moving at all. Oh, dearie me, what are you doing, Thomas? Now you're going too slow! You'll need to speed up if you're going to get us anywhere on time. But I thought you wanted me to go slowly! Thomas teased. Oh, well! If you want me to go fast... And Thomas raced away as fast as he could. Clattering carriages? Oh, that's much too fast! But Annie and Clarabelle knew Thomas was just playing tricks on them. Cheeky Thomas! Cheeky, cheeky Thomas! Meanwhile at the yard, Charlie the Purple Engine was busy moving cars when Caitlin arrived. Caitlin was a high-speed passenger express from the mainland. She was an extremely fast engine indeed. Charlie was surprised to see her at the yard. Hello, Caitlin. What are you doing here? I've been going so fast. I've loosened some bolts, Charlie. I need to go to the steamworks and get them tightened. Can I leave my coaches here and come back for them later? Sure thing, Caitlin. So Caitlin left her express coaches on the siding and set off for the steamworks. Then Thomas arrived at the yard. Thomas had to collect some cars for his next job and would need to leave Annie and Clarabelle behind. Sorry, Annie and Clarabelle. I'll have to leave you here for a while. I'm late for the quarry. Well, if you hadn't been messing around, Thomas, this wouldn't have happened, said Clarabelle, and Annie agreed. Yes, too much going too fast. Then too much going too slow. So Thomas left Annie and Clarabelle on the siding and headed off to the quarry. It had been a busy morning. Annie and Clarabelle were pleased to have time to rest and soon dozed off to sleep. <laughs> a little while later, Caitlin came back to the yard. I've come to collect my coaches, Charlie. Coming, Caitlin! Charlie hurried off to the siding to collect Caitlin's coaches. But as usual, Charlie couldn't help joking around. Oh, I've got a joke for you. How do bees get to school? He asked Caitlin. Uh, I don't know. On a school buzz! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie was so busy telling jokes, he wasn't paying attention. And he accidentally pushed Annie and Clarabelle over to Caitlin, as well as Caitlin's express coaches. Sleepy Annie and Clarabelle began to wake up. They thought Thomas had come back to collect them. Oh, oh, Thomas must be back. About time too. Annie and Clarabelle were coupled to Caitlin's coaches. As Caitlin pulled out of the yard,
Clarabelle still thought they were being pulled by Thomas. No, don't go too fast, Thomas. Then Clarabelle saw Thomas following behind them on another line. <gasps> Thomas? You're over there! Well, if he's over there... Annie gasped. Then who is pulling us? <laughs> as he hurried behind them, Thomas was just as surprised to see Annie and Clarabelle coupled to Caitlin. Fizzling fireboxes! Wait, Caitlin! Come back! As Caitlin built up speed, Annie and Clarabelle found themselves going faster and faster. This is the fastest we've ever been! I don't like it at all! I've got my eyes closed! Does it help? No, not really! Thomas chased after them, but Caitlin was a much bigger and faster engine, and he couldn't catch up with her. At last, Caitlin stopped at Wellsworth Station, where she met Connor, another fast mainline engine. Hello, Connor. How about a race up to Ulfstead Castle? Said Caitlin. But Annie and Clarabelle didn't want to race. Oh dear, a race? Please say no. Please say no. You're on, Caitlin. Connor agreed. No! Cried Annie and Clarabelle. Ready? Steady, go! Connor and Caitlin rushed out of the station. Just as Thomas arrived to see his coaches disappearing into the distance. No! Connor and Caitlin raced up the hill towards Ulfstead Castle. Hey! You'll never beat me, Caitlin! <laughs> we'll see about that! Poor Annie and Clarabelle wished they were being pulled by Thomas. I'll never complain about Thomas again. Nor will I. Thomas puffed up the hill as fast as he could. But before he could reach Ulfstead Castle, Caitlin passed him on her way down. Thomas called to Annie and Clarabelle as they rushed past. Annie! Clarabelle! Thomas had to stop Caitlin before she crossed the Vickerstown Bridge onto the mainland. He puffed as fast as he could. But when he reached the bridge, there was no sign of Caitlin or Annie and Clarabelle. Oh no! I'm too late. I'll never be able to catch up with Caitlin now. Then Thomas saw another engine slowly crossing the bridge towards him. It was Hero. The big tender engine. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Hero. Hero pulled up beside Thomas. It's a good thing I've stopped Caitlin. She was taking your coaches away. And there, coupled safely behind Hero, were Annie and Clarabelle. Annie and Clarabelle! You brought them back! Thank you! Annie and Clarabelle were delighted to be reunited with Thomas. Yes! Thank you, Hero! Thank you indeed! Thomas puffed slowly and carefully home with his two faithful coaches. Oh, Annie and Clarabelle, I'm sorry I teased you. And we're sorry we complained about how fast you were going. We'll never do it again. But it wasn't long before Thomas began to speed up. Just a little bit. Although you are going a bit fast now. Much too fast, if you ask me. You're so right, Clarabelle. Much too fast. <laughs> Annie and Clarabelle still complain about Thomas going too fast sometimes. And Thomas still teases them. But they all agree they would never want to be without each other. The end. Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime. Thomas & Friends is a registered trademark of Ghislaine Thomas Limited.